very fortunate in our province that recently we have a um, protocol for families who want to start pumps. It's a tool for the diabetes educators and for the families to make sure that they're properly prepared to start on an insulin pump. So we have a binder and in there are different steps. Okay, so when we're looking at the steps, the first step, it's even in the binder, step one, okay, is your phase one is your preparation phase. It's making sure the families are ready for the pump. And so there are tools, questionnaires for the families to fill out the child, the parents, are you ready for a pump? Okay, so there's questions in here to find out. So hopefully if you are looking at this video and you're considering a pump, you've been offered this information. Some of the tools that we have to help families get ready is the very beginning is a questionnaire, are you ready to be a pumper? And it, has, it asks some very real questions about are you as a whole family engaged in this? Are you ready to be connected to tubings? Do you know you have to set, change your sets every two to three days? Do you have the finances for it? So it's a very preliminary checklist that will lead you to the next step where then we will offer you some training on carbohydrate counting. And we have a quiz that we'll share with you. We can do some teaching on carbohydrate counting and then quiz you gently and help you to continue to build on those skills. I have an iPod that helps me with it though. I have an iPod, but it's not an iPhone. Yeah. The worksheet so, I went through with Jason is called the Insulin and in Carbohydrate Worksheet. And we have anyone who's interested in the pump um, to complete that. It's a form that has a column where a person records their carbohydrate, uh, how much they ate, and how much insulin they gave and their blood sugar results. And this really helps us determine their carb counting skills and also helps us determine if they're comfortable with adjusting their insulin based on their blood sugar and how much carbohydrate they ate. We have a sick day challenge question, just some very preliminary things to help you understand that you do need to make changes and that you do have knowledge and that we can add more to that. We have an insulin dose adjustment challenge. This is all the very beginning tools that help you just to think a bit more about the diabetes and some of the challenges that you may need to think about with the pump. So this is 10 questions. Are you ready to adjust insulin? Because you do have to know how to adjust your insulin when you're on the pump, just like you need to do it when you have the injections. So these are some basic questions to see, are you ready to go on to the next step of insulin pump? So again, the answers are here for this as well. And it's not just the answers, it explains the answers. So if you get one that you thought was right and you think that can't be right, read the answers. It'll explain why it answered it like that. So at, once you decide you're ready, there's a patient family agreement to start on the pump. All right, so it says I blank wish to initiate pump therapy. So you're putting it in writing that you're ready to go, that you want to start pump therapy. And I find when you write it down on paper, you're committing to something. You've said, I'm ready, I want to do this, because it's a big job, and we want to know you're committed before you start. So this is a, an agreement for the family to write down and sign off and say, we're ready. We're ready to take on the task. Then it's once you've decided the pump is for you, it's called the moving forward phase two. And that's once the pump date has been given, what things do you need to do to prepare for the pump? Okay, so your education center has given you the date for the start and there's papers then for you to complete. Then when you're ready to go, it's a tool for us to say, okay, this is how, what your basal is going to be, this is the things we need on day one. Okay, these are the tools you need in place. Then ongoing follow-up. And the ongoing follow-up is things that we want to know, now that you're on the pump, what are your biggest concerns? What are the things that you feel are important? What things do you want to have <clears throat> in place to make you better on the pump? What are the extra things? Is it hard? Is, are you stressed? Are you finding basketball tournaments very difficult? What are the things we can build on? So you need to let us know, the diabetes educators, what things you need in place to be better on the pump. This is ongoing. There's so much that's going to come up in your life that you're going to need to know how to do this the best way possible on your pump. So this has been something we've all been looking for because um, we're all doing things and making up our own tools, but we've brought all those together to make one great tool. And already I've been using it and it's been working great. So very useful, the families love it. And it's been, I find, things that I may have missed are now coming out. We're all working from the same page that is really going to help families 
get consistent information and confidence in their learning. And if they move around within the province, they can expect consistency. Or if they're vacationing in the South Shore and they have to go to a diabetes center, we're all going to be working from the same page and you're going to get excellent care and support. Families will get what they need for when they start pump therapy in Nova Scotia.